Becker College students are working to improve the lives of people with disabilities. They are partnering with NEEDS to provide basic obedience training for puppies before they become official service dogs. Our Gretchen LaRosa joins us in the studio with the details. Gretchen. Olivia, Becker College now offers a club for students to train service dogs in the earliest phases of their career. They can be able to help the blind, the deaf, the disabled. Um, it's not just going to be like one section, they can be trained for all of it. Becker College students are training puppies to be service dogs. And we started it this semester, it's brand new, where uh, I and two other puppy raisers, we have the puppies for a year and a half and we train them on basic training and behavior and get them prepared to be with other people in the future. Jennifer Girardin handles 11-week-old Labrador, Jetty. She wants to train and pair service dogs with their owners after she graduates. We want them to get used to seeing random strangers having no idea who they are and being able to re react very nicely. Uh, no barking, like growling, any kind of stuff like that. So the more we get them socialized, the less that behavior is going to happen. Students participate in the club at the veterinarian clinic on campus. Kennel manager Jesse Carrera says the dogs learn a lot in the year they have with students. You can see a tremendous change in them and it's great just to see that. Like, And the students are growing with them so it's even they're getting more responsibility with it. Gerardin says she has experience training dogs and it never gets easier sending them off to their new homes. With the mindset that I know she's going to go off and she's going to like help somebody, that really helps. Um, so I don't feel like I'm going to be as upset when I have to say goodbye. Now as of this semester, Becker offers a dual degree program, which will open up opportunities for students looking to work with animals in their future career paths. In the studio, Gretchen LaRosa, Worcester News Tonight.